Here, those showers lifting through the triad. Heavy downpour still going on in the southern Piedmont, too. We've got 87 hundredths of an inch in Ennis so far, almost two inches in Mount Airy, an inch and a half in Stanleyville, Hamptonville doing well, too. And you can see some of those local city reports coming in from our automated airport sites. More than an inch in Greensboro, an inch and a half in Lexington. So good totals, more to come as we see these waves of rain move in and overnight. So pockets of heavy downpours from Guilford through Deep River right now are going to bring in some slick roads. We've got some hydroplaning possibilities for a morning commute, unfortunately, but we do get these lulls in between these rounds of moderate to heavy downpours. So Wilkesboro, Ferguson, Kings Creek, you're getting a little bit of a break, but some light showers, drizzle, mist and fog will be an issue for us with visibility reduced. You've got 68 degrees in Greensboro right now, and it's going to stay mild. In fact, we're going to be warming as we go through the day tomorrow, mid and upper 70s to near 80 in spots. This puts us under an enhanced risk for severe storms. Greensboro, High Point, Burlington up through Reedsville, all the way back into Yakinville has a greater potential to see flooding, strong winds, and yes, even isolated tornadoes. So we can see this this time of the year as we get that warm air ahead of a cold front and very dry air behind it. And that's what we're going to have as a setup for us tomorrow. We've got 63 degrees in the morning. You see the 12 hour forecast. We put your alert symbol on as we head into the afternoon. Anytime we get you after two o'clock, things should start to ramp up in intensity for the threat of severe plus heavy rains gust to 30 miles an hour may be possible too. We'll see those temperatures cooling pretty quickly overnight, but until then it's going to warm. We've got you from 60 in the foothills all the way to 74 around 3 o'clock. Heavier rains begin to move in and you may need those ponchos and certainly be cautious checking in on your WXI 12 news apps as we update you on the rain moving through. So if you're going to try and time a window to do some trick or treating, definitely check in with us and check the radar as well. We don't want you to get caught out in these severe storms. We've got impact hours from all day long in the mountains where we've got fog. We've got rain at a good clip at times. Times. Even if you don't have the rain, you're going to have reduced visibility from the fog. You've got temperatures at 69. Your hour by hour forecast showing you that yes, those showers are going to stay with us overnight. Might get a little bit of a break, then more pockets of heavy downpours could roll through. Here's the line that we're most concerned about between 2 and about 4 o'clock. Some of our forecast models starting to speed this up just a little bit hour to hour and a half earlier potentially, but keeping you with those heavy rains, the risk for damaging winds that could take down some small trees and cause sporadic power outages. We also want you to be careful of the trick or treaters out there. If there are going to be more cars on the road, dropping off those kids in the neighborhoods, just watch for the kids. You see the cold air rushing in. We may even have in the mountains, unfortunately, some periods of gusty winds that could take you down into the teens and 20s for feels like temperatures. But your Halloween day, yeah, good rain chances continuing to build through the afternoon and evening. And finally, after 9, 10 o'clock, things should start to clear out. And your totals, as we mentioned, pretty high, two to four inches for some. As we look ahead, those wind chill values intense by Friday morning. Here's your seven day forecast, folks. 76 degrees on your Halloween day, 50s for Friday into Saturday, frosty mornings. And then we're setting our clocks back by one hour into Sunday morning.